Hey guys, it's Shannon with Apex Tarot Pure Spirit and I'm here to do our next 24 hour rune reading and um, today is the 11th of December 2019. Happy birthday to all you Sagittarians out there. Um, you guys please send me love and light. I'm having to <laughs> wrap my head again because I, I've, I've lost a lot of hair and um, just going through all this kind of stuff is just really sucks <laughs> really does sucks I'm sure it makes other people happy that's fine you can be wicked if you want um, but it is what it is so uh, I said uh, I think it was at the fire sign reading yesterday people wonder why I keep wrapping my head this this why and um, <laughs> I'm missing my babies and stuff like that and just you know would just like to kiss them and put my arms around them and um, anyway <laughs> Y'all know that I'm just, uh, I'm real personable with you all, as I always say, and so I'm just chit-chatting with you today. So anyway, with that said, guys, let's go ahead and get in here and see what Spirit wants us to know for the next 24 hours. Alright, thank you, Sweet Divine, for clear to find messages for the collective. What do we need to know? What's the most important message? I thank you for your wisdom and your peace and your understanding and your mercy and your grace. It's new for us every single day. So we got one popping out here. We got uh, what looks like the hourglass. And uh, to me, it all also looks like glasses or something like that. Uh, I'm not sure. What, we've got this before. I'm not sure what it is. Let me see. This is the D which is the 24th letter of the runic alphabet, which would be 6, and that's 33, that's compassion, and all things are possible, and courage, and uh, it's a lover's card energy, it's also the devil energy as well, the 6, and we've seen the devil on the second um, reading that we did today, but that energy makes us be tested for integrity's sake, and we know that. So it's got the two and the four. The second letter is uh, B. And the fourth letter is the D. So if that means anything to anyone, uh, person, place, or thing, first, middle, or last name. Let's see. The 24th letter of our alphabet is the X. So that may, maybe you're dealing with X issues. Make sure you don't sign your name somewhere today where you're going to get trapped into some kind of payment so that devil energy can represent being chained to things that, you know, and that's fine. If you're going through something, you're going to sign, you know, your name today. Maybe you're going through divorces today or something, and now you're going to have an X or something like that, whatever that means for somebody. Um, also, if we're going to look at the rune, the seventh, I know this is the sixth, but the, there's an X on the seventh letter which is a divine gift as well and so if you're making decisions with that lover's energy um, just because of the actual symbol of the X is there there's some kind kind of divine gift today as well and uh, go back and watch that second re uh, reading that we did we talked a lot about the energies of you know you don't get to pick your soulmates and stuff like that so um, so this is represents day it's the dagaz and it means light or change or a beginning a new cycle fortune marriage okay and intrigue thwarted okay well that's plotting things secretly okay and we did see the seven of swords also that came out <laughs> real briefly so wherever the devil is you know there are some people that are Unfortunately, they are plotting things secretly. That's why I was picking up on that reading that if you have one little bitty anything on the inside of you, you need to weigh it out. Okay, because six is, is making the decision. Okay, so the two will take us to the high priestess energy, which is to really go within and pay attention to that intuition that's about mint events also happening and whatever choices okay the six is the the lover's card about choices whatever choices we make we're going to own it okay so it's really important okay and owning things are beautiful if that's what the divine wants you to do because we're being tested in everything our thoughts are we casting down our thoughts no i don't need to think of that way you know we've seen the uh hermit there today 
and uh, that is about denying our ego. And we all have ego to some degree. We have had to work through things that we absolutely know that, you know, some things we weighed wrong, some things we, we even doubt and learned how to, okay, uh, be mature within getting that ego to come down. We've seen the tower today, and that is about pride and ego. The devil is about ego, okay? It's about being devilish, but it's also about our integrity. So all is just, you know, going right back <laughs> full circle. The 24 also has the 4, and that is the emperor energies, okay? But it's also if we were to look at the 4th house, which we're already getting it with the high priestess because the moon's there, okay? Then that's still using our intuition, even in war, okay? Warring in the self really is what I'm picking up because it really starts with our own mind and our own decisions and what we choose, okay? And so whatever choices that you and I make... We drag other people into that and get ourselves in trouble with other people. And then you're going to have to deal with what you got other people involved in as well. It never pays off for us. So what did that say again? It said um, a change. Light. Well, when the light is on, you absolutely know what to do. That hermit today was looking within. You know what to do when you're having some kind of devilish energy or somebody comes to say, hey, sh well, right then and there, you're being tested about something. There, hang on a second. That's real grounding energy there with that, you know, what Saturn represents for us, okay? And that was in the environment today, okay? Now, some people just have really, really heavy, heavy attraction to people, and that's, that's fine and dandy. Uh, other people don't like that. Well, that's tough. But at the same time, you still have to use your wisdom and gain the light in your situations. You know, your marital situations and ex situations, all that kind of stuff. It's, it's the divine gift inside that the divine gives us to uh, have that higher mind, right? Haya. We talked about that yesterday. Come up haya. <laughs> so beautiful the way that the spirit reveals things to you and I, guys. Um, so the light in beginning something, because whatever we choose today... Remember, today is the 11th. It's about justice, weighing things, balancing things. Whatever we choose, we're starting a new beginning on something. So what are you plotting? Are you plotting today something deceptive because you just cannot get over your own ego? Or are you deciding to, you know what, I'm going to follow what the divine wants me to do. And I'm going to follow the light. And I'm not going to be afraid to come into the light and make my decisions that way. Okay, so anyway, this is what's come through my spirit with this. I bless you all. Until next time, shalom and love and light.